Hello people, welcome to our second video on design patterns. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the observer design pattern. The goal of this video is to explain the concept in non-technical terms. Yes, I repeat, non-technical terms. Once you have an overview of what the concept is, you can then move on to more technical explanations. Alright, since you and I are hanging out on YouTube, let's use YouTube as a point of reference for this video. YouTube primarily has two types of actors. There are those who create videos or the content creators. Then there are those, the majority actually, who view content. Content creators group their videos under channels and viewers subscribe to these channels. And if they change their mind at some point, they can just unsubscribe. Content creators focus their energies on creating new videos. And when a video is published, their subscribers are notified. Now let's take a step back and focus on this relationship between channel and subscriber. What we are seeing here is a scenario where many objects or viewers in this case are interested in the state of a single object, a channel in this case. And this my friends is the rationale behind the observer design pattern. Now let's associate some new terms with these entities. Terms that you will see in design pattern literature. The channel is what is being observed. It is observable. It is also the subject. And since it publishes videos, it is also the publisher. The subscriber dudes can also be referred to as observers. The subject of publisher provides the observer with the following key features. It allows the observer to subscribe to its publications unsubscribe from its publications and notify the observer when new material is published. And if you think about our YouTube example, this last point makes sense. Some channels have millions of subscribers. Rather than each subscriber contact the channel, it makes much more sense for the channel to contact its subscribers when it publishes new content. The subscriber or observer on the other hand can inform the channel on how it wants to be updated. In the case of YouTube, new content notifications arrive via email for example. So guys, this brings us to the end of the session. I request you to pause for a moment and think of other scenarios which manifest the observer design pattern. Also based on this discussion, can you think of advantages and disadvantages of this model? Do feel free to post your comments. Finally, I hope this video has given you the appetite to look at a more technical description of the subject. Thanks a lot and go well.